Hello everyone, welcome back to Ed's Metalworks YouTube channel. I got a little quick one today, nothing too exciting going on in the shop, but recently I've run across a couple videos on YouTube of these all brick chucks. Um, I had to dig through my stuff, but I knew I had one around here that I had scrounged up somewhere along the line that was broken. So uh, anyway, I'll show you what we got. I found it, and uh, we'll look at some prices, and and uh, maybe you guys can help me decide if it's worth fixing or not. Anyway, here's what we got. Um, an all brick chuck. I forget where it says that on there. Uh, you'll notice. <laughs> Uh, there's I got a lot of grease in there for them balls. That's that's not the way they have to be put together But I greased all the balls in there, so I don't lose them but uh, This is the If you can read that on there All brick chuck It's a 1 8 to 1 8 to 5 8 in Germany uh, it's got a a number six Jacobs taper in the in the body of it here but anyway this is the two tools you have to make to get them apart you got to make something to hold this uh, this body part here on there on this whoops on this surface here and then I used a piece of lead to wrap around this cover to screw it off now you can see from the looks of this this thing don't look like it's ever been used in fact I still think it's got some of the cosmoline in it from the original shipping or process or whatever but uh, anyway, like I said, I acquired it somewhere along the line. You notice this little this little drive pin here is kind of sheared off. The jaws, the jaws all look like they have never been used even. But anyway, it's broken. I think that's why I acquired it in the box of stuff. But you can see how they this arbor. It spun like mad on the J6 Jacobs taper, but uh, inside the body, yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, there's really no marks at all inside there. But I'll show you this, this screw thing here is broken all the way around. Here's a chunk that come out of there. It wouldn't screw or do anything and this chunk was jammed down in there. But I don't know, like I said, I don't know what happened to it. Don't have any history of it, how old it is or anything, but it sure hasn't been used much. It looks like brand new. But my, my suspicion is that somebody didn't really know what was going on here. It's a it's a 160J6, but I think they tried to drive out this arbor without using the wedges. You know, Jacobs makes wedges for all their different sizes arbors, so they're they're essential to get them these arbors out of their chucks. Uh, let me go find my set. I got my set over here somewhere. Yep. I'm sorry. I don't know where they're at right now. <laughs> That's been how long ago I've taken this apart. But anyway, I thought it was interesting to look up these 
Chucks, I have a McMaster car catalog. It's number 110. My guess is this catalog is, it's got to be at least 15 years old, if not more than that. I don't know how old it is, but uh, I've been retired 15 years, and I don't know if I had it when I was working. I know I didn't acquire it since I've been working, but anyway, we looked up these all brick chucks and uh, the steel, that's a steel one. The C160J6, yeah, if you can see that price there, $250.90. I think I'm seeing that right. Get my cheaters on here. $250.98. Okay. Fine and dandy, but 15 years ago, at $2, or $250, $250.90, it was $250.90. I can't find any parts in here for those chucks. Uh, not to change the subject, but here's the wedges I was talking about. I got a number six, six and 33 set, but they make them for all different sizes of their arbors uh, don't pay attention to that price like i said this catalog has got to be 15 years old so anyway here's uh here's off the mcmaster car website yesterday and uh this c60 j6 all brick chuck is 569 dollars and 12 cents but now they do offer all the parts for them. I suppose at that price it's worth rebuilding them. But my quandary is, when I first got this chuck in a box, I looked up parts for it. And uh, at that time, which has been maybe four years ago, three years ago, uh, the body, which is this part, was $142.50. And uh, the little drive pin that goes in there was $7.25. Okay, that's been, let's say, three years ago. I don't know that I've had it much longer than that. So $149, I could have repaired this at that time. Well, I thought that was too much money. <laughs> so I waited, put it in a box, and forgot about it. Anyway, so today... These parts, uh, what do we need? We need the body and spindle assembly. This part, they don't, they don't show just the, sell just the spindle assembly. You gotta buy this as a set. It's probably machined together or something. Body and spindle assembly uh, for the C60J6 is $195.70. In a couple years, that went up 50 bucks, basically. All right, and uh, the drive pin, here's the drive pin for the C60J6, is $10.36, so that went up three bucks, basically. So anyway, uh, to repair this, you're looking at $210 plus shipping. Now there's my question. It's worth 500 and what I say $569.12. Is it worth fixing? I have I have a couple, they aren't all brick, but they're a couple keyless chucks already. Um I don't know. It would be nice to have a good precision chuck like this. And I can't buy one for $200, but all the other parts look just fine need to be cleaned up is all everything looks just fine it just has to be have this part replaced in the drive pin like I said but it's amazing now uh, the cost of doing business has changed because uh, not that I'm a business I'm not a business but in uh, in 15 years it's 
basically about tripled in price. Well, 250, one and a half times in price. Two and a half times in price, I'm sorry. But, uh, and the parts have, have gotten pretty expensive too. But like I said, they didn't even offer parts in this catalog, which is 15 years ago or so. And uh, I should have, guess I should have rebuilt it at this time, whenever that was, three years ago. But anyway, give me a comment. Let me know what you think, if I should rebuild it or not. It uh, probably make an excellent chuck. I don't know, I don't have a um, three Morse taper that fits any, all my stuff is two Morse taper, so I have to buy a new arbor anyway because this one's junk. But uh, anyway, <laughs> like I said, that was just kind of a short, short little video for the day. Um, it's, it's amazing how the prices of everything have risen. And everybody knows that, but hopefully that will change soon. I don't think anything's gonna go down again, but if it would just stop going up. Anyway, thanks for watching. How about a thumbs up? And comment on this, should I fix it or not? It's kind of a, one of them deals, I, I don't know, 200 bucks is a lot of money to anybody, so. Anyway, thanks for watching. Heads of Metal Works, signing out.